Hello and welcome to Mindful Monk Series 3 and a special welcome to those who are joining us for the first time, to joining our small community who are determined to find ways and means of enhancing our experience of this one wild, wonderful life, short life. Hints and nudges from wherever we can get them, but primarily from spirituality, nature and psychology. So delighted to have you with me in this new year. And what a difficult beginning it has been for this year. Lockdown in this dark, cold time. It's really challenging, challenging for us all. It feels like a time of trial, a time of really we're being asked to reassess where we are in our lives and where we're going. Um, and that's 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 a difficult thing to do, difficult thing to do. It's much easier to keep on flowing. So I want to share one thought with you to get us going for the new year. And I was listening to a podcast of Edith Egger. You may know of her. She wrote a book called The Choice. She was an Auschwitz survivor. She's 93, written two books in the last three years, I think it is. The Choice, which was excellent. I read it when I was in hospital and uh, about her career in psychiatry and psychology. And the next one has been The Gift. Now, in the podcast, she was asked, what, what enabled you to survive? What enabled you to survive? And she said, I give you one word, one word. And that is to be curious. She was locked up. Her parents were removed from her as soon as they arrived in the camp and put in a gas chamber. And that's how she survived, by being curious. She always wanted to know what was happening next. And I think it's a challenging thing to do, but it makes me, it brings me into the present and looking forward what's going to happen next where are the hints and nudges that life is providing for me now am i awake to them is my curiosity on the alert or am i stuck in the past so i was curious i always wanted to know what would happen next that was the key to surviving auschwitz the ultimate locked down and locked in. So I think that's that's a useful, that was a, a reminder to me because as I say, it staying curious, staying in the present, looking out for hints and not just to help for help that I think life will provide for us. Just an aside, it comes from the French word or through the French word cur, which means heart. It also gives rise to the word courage and it's a time of hard work. Get out of our heads. We've spent enough time in our heads. Hard work. And we need courage. Courage as we face this time. Face this time. Absolutely need courage. And the last thing she said, she said a mantra, and I thought it was very good, and I, I've been using it the last day or two myself. She says, I am, I can, I will. I am, I can, I will. So when you're facing this time, I am, I can, and I will. It's how we're determined to go forward with courage. Einstein also said, you know, he said, I have no special talent, but he says, I'm passionately curious, passionately curious. So I'd like to end with a prayer, a prayer for us all, that we would live this day compassionate in heart, clear in word, gracious in awareness, courageous in thought, and generous in love, generous in love. Amen. And keep safe and keep well, and I'll see you next time. God bless.